Welcome back. This is where we stopped in our last video. Where we said uh, we said zero is equal to x minus four squared minus five squared, and we saw this formula. And uh, the reason that uh, this uh, becomes this is I hope you understand. You can cancel this negative a b and plus a b plus a b and minus a b can get cancelled. So what remains is a squared minus b squared. Okay. So, so what happens now? So, yes, okay, that color is good. Okay. Now, now we are, I'm going to use this formula of a squared minus b squared to uh, factorize this. So can I write 0 is equal to a squared minus b squared is a plus b times a minus b. So you can compare a with x minus 4 and b you can compare with 5. So if you compare, okay, if you match, you can match a with x minus 4 and b with 5. So instead of writing a plus b, I can write x minus 4 plus 5 and Instead of a minus b, a is a, a is x minus 4. So same thing, x minus 4 minus 5. Okay, so what happens? So 0 is equal to, what is negative 4 plus 5? Okay, that's right, that's 1. And what is x minus 4 minus 5? Minus 4 minus 5 is minus 9 or negative 9. Okay, now I want you to use your logic. So here we are coming to this. We are, I'm going to rewrite this again. x plus 1 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. So what have we got? The product, oh sorry, x minus 9. Okay, the product of two numbers. So this is a number. x plus 1 is a number. And x minus 9 is also a number. So if a times b... If a and b are two numbers, if a times b is 0, you can understand that logically a should be 0 or b should be 0. So using this simple logical statement, can I say that x plus 1 is a 0 or x minus 9 is a 0? Okay, so when would this become 0? What number plus 1 gives you 0? So this number has to be negative 1. So x is negative 1. And when would this become 0? That is when x is equal to 9. So, so we can see what, what our x intercepts. So, so x intercepts, let me revise or let me say it again. X, in, x intercept is when y is equal to 0. So let us write this as a point. So that is negative 1, comma, 0. And... 9 comma 0. Okay, so let me uh, revise. So let me go back. So first we saw the y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So I set x is equal to 0 and I got the x-intercept, sorry, the y-intercept. And then I got the vertex form by perfect square and difference of two, oh sorry, perfect square. That's S. So this form is called the uh, vertex form. This means the parabola, uh, we will show, has moved 4 to the right and 25 down. So the vertex would be 4, comma, negative 25. And the last is x-intercept, which is negative 1 and 9. So let me go to the next page. I already written this. So this is our x-intercept. This is our vertex, and this is our y-intercept. So let me plot the x. So I'll make it a bit thicker, yeah? So let me take bright color. So let me take this blue color. Okay. So the x-intercept is 9, 0. So where is your 9? Oh, I already plot, plotted it. So this is your point 9. Okay. Can you see that? 9, 0. The other point is negative 1, 0. This is your negative 1, 0. Okay. The vertex is 4, comma, negative 25. So this is 4, comma, negative 25. So let me plot that point. 4, comma, negative 25. The y-intercept is 0, negative 9. So this is negative 5, this is negative 10. So negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9. So roughly it comes here. 
okay and this is the axis of symmetry so let me uh, let me copy that let me uh, select and I have placed the axis of symmetry okay now I have to draw the graph so basically what we're doing is we're graphing or we're joining these two these points okay so so what we do is my drawing may not be perfect so you have to join this point in a parabola so let us draw a smooth curve okay uh, the smooth curve would go like this that's fine and the other part would go somewhat like this that's fine okay so this is the graph of y is equal to x squared minus 8x minus 9 okay and if you do all this you are perfectly fine so let us check this on our calculator so let me go open up a calculator so go to menu and uh, go to your graph okay so go to graph and type in the equation you should remember the equation it is x squared minus 8x minus 9 okay and uh, let me look at the settings so shift so I want x axis x is from say I'll make it from negative 10 to plus 10 okay scale of 1 is fine don't worry about the dot the y minimum I want 30 okay because I, I know the vertex is negative 25 and uh, this is say to make it look good let me go up to 5 and a scale of 5 and exit and then draw it so this is your parabola okay you can match this with this so how will you confirm so we know the vertex is negative 9 so let's sorry the y-intercept is negative 9 so let us start from the y-intercept okay so the y-intercept is f4 f plus 0 negative 9 okay so let us look at the vertex okay that is minimum here yeah? so minimum ne 4 negative 25 okay you can see here 4 comma negative 25 is your vertex the next is your uh, x-intercept on a on a graphic calculator they're called the roots okay or the root okay under f1 so this is the one root which is negative 1 comma 0 and if you press this you get the other root which is 9 0 and so you see you in the next video thank you very much